Thank you so much, Dominique. Students from all across Virginia got to show off their innovation and talents in STEM this Saturday afternoon. The Virginia Piedmont Regional Science Fair was held at UVA North Fork Discovery Park. Amaya Mitchell joins us live in the studio with details. Hi, Amaya. Kagan, this is the 44th year of the Virginia Piedmont Regional Science Fair. It included students from all over Virginia to showcase their work. Even if we don't win this, to know that we accomplished something that the judges looked at and liked, it just is such an accomplishment. 124 projects were presented at the science fair, all hoping to impress judges and win a top spot. Most of the students have been through a fair at their school or in their district, and these are the best of those projects that have come here to the regional fair to compete um, to go on to other contests. Adrian Feltz is the director and has been with the science fair for 15 years. He has a background in defense and technology work and says getting the next generation excited about science and math is important. Knowing that there are students uh, in the younger generations who are interested in this area is very important for innovation. It's very important for um, uh, some of the, uh, the commercial entities that, that need this type of talent, but also for national security. Projects covered a range of topics and ideas. For a trio of juniors from Mountain Vista Governor School, their project was inspired by a personal experience. In our school, a lot of the bathrooms have been closed and we have a lot of issues because of teens vaping. From this issue, the three decided to come up with an app that would put a stop to teens vaping in school. Our project is called Cloud Control, an e-cigarette emission detector, and it's basically a vape detector uh, to be implemented in schools with an app component. That sensor would detect the vape and then send it to an app on a user's phone that would uh, notify authority or teachers that a kid is vaping in a bathroom or a classroom. Felt says that overall the projects he saw impressed him. It really gives me hope that uh, we'll be able to uh, keep our country safe and to keep innovation moving forward uh, for the United States. The science fair ended with an award ceremony sending multiple students and their projects to higher levels of competition. Our very own meteorologist here at 29 News, Dominique Smith, was there helping to judge some of the projects. Live in studio, Amaya Mitchell, 29 News at 6.